Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. Points A, B and C lie on a circle with center O. So we can see that points A, B and C are lying on a circle. Angle AOC is 142 degrees. We have to find out the value of Y. Now to start with, let us make some construction for this given example. Let us make an angle on the circumference of the given circle and take it as point D. Now here we can see that the angle at the center is 142 degrees. So let us try to find out what is the angle at the circumference of the given circle. Now to get the value of this angle, we have to use a circle theorem given as angle at the center theorem. It states that angle at the center is 2 times the angle at the circumference of the circle. You can see that I have drawn a circle over here and A and B are the points through which the angle at the center is made and the same two points make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point C. Now according to the theorem the angle at the center is always 2 times the angle at the circumference. So here if at the center we have an angle of 100 degrees, then at the circumference we have the angle as 50 degrees. If we have an angle of 160 degrees at the center, then at the circumference it's going to be the half, that is it's going to be 80 degrees. Because angle at the center is always 2 times the angle at the circumference. Now using this theorem, let us see if we can get the value at the circumference. So if we have an angle at the center as 142 degrees, then at the circumference it's going to be angle A, D, C is going to be half of the angle at the center which is 142 degrees. So we get it as 71 degrees at the circumference. Now the question asks us to find the angle at the point B which is y degrees. To find out the angle y we can use the cyclic quadrilateral theorem because we can see that A, B, C, D, A forms a cyclic quadrilateral with all the vertices of the quadrilateral being on the circle. So let us see what is the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. Here you can see I have drawn a circle with four points. Let me join the four points A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. Now this is a cyclic quadrilateral with the vertices of the quadrilateral on the circle. Now according to the theorem, the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 degrees. That is, if you are considering the angle A, angle C is opposite to angle A. So when we add the angle A with its opposite angle C, we get an angle of 180 degrees. The same goes with angle B and angle D because these are the two opposite angles. So we can write it as angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. So this is the theorem. Now if we come back over here, we can see that angle B and angle D are opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So we can write it as angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees using the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. Now we have the angle B given as y degrees plus angle D we got it as 71 is equal to 180. So we have angle Y is equal to 180 minus 71. So that gives us angle Y as 109 degrees. So this is how we solve the given example. I hope you have understood and liked the video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.